YouTube, this is Amanda, me, Amanda. Um, so this is my second video that I'm making for my channel, Loving Rants. Um, and this video, what I want to open up with is, um, uh, this week has been, like, a really, like, weird week, I guess. I've been doing so much. I've had a lot of work to do. But, um, my school is GSA. We were, um, talking about, like, a lot of different things this week and, like, opening up with people. And now, in our GSA, we've become, like, this really close, tight-knit family, which, honestly, I think is great. Um, everyone is just so nice and accepting, so, I guess what this video is, this week is gonna be about acceptance and all of its forms. Um, what I really want to start out with, and I'm gonna dedicate this video, is to a really good friend of mine. Um, I don't really know if she wants me to say her name or not, but we'll just call her R, or Roch. I'm just gonna call her Roch, just for short, for her name. Um, and she is so nice, I can't even, um, I know last week my video I dedicated to my friend that came out that he's gay, but I guess what I'm trying to say for acceptance, acceptance could be in a lot of different forms. Um, acceptance could be whether you're coming out, um, with your sexuality or sexual orientation, whether you are gay, lesbian, bi, pan, the list goes on when it comes to sexual orientation. I'll probably do another video on that, because I've been wanting to for a really long time. Um, but then also, acceptance comes from people's different religious beliefs, also. Um, religious beliefs, but then there's also acceptance when you're going into a new group of people, or just friends in general, I guess. Um, and I actually have, like, a slight little story of acceptance. Um, this is mostly when it comes to ideas of things, it, it, it was a little incident that happened in my psychology class the other day, and this girl wanted to, like, have a tattoo or whatnot, and she's getting ideas from the internet, obviously, and so we were talking about, and uh, I really want a tattoo, even though I can't get one for the next two years until I'm 18, but I really want one with an infinity sign and hope inside of it, um, mostly because i struggled with a lot of things. I mean, yes, I'm young, but, you know, I think everyone has their struggles at one point or another. But mostly because, um, it's dedication to my grandfather that passed away a really long time ago. Probably, oh, I, I don't even know, when I was about nine or so. Just honing in on about eight years, give or take. But then also, um, for other people that are also struggling. And they made it seem really cliche that I wanted an infinity sign. Because, yeah, I know it's popular, but the infinity sign has a lot of meaning to me. Um, and they just kind of bashed to me, and I was like, I did not feel accepted in that group of people that were talking. And I just had to walk away from that, and I'm like, okay, I mean, I guess. Um, it's just, I don't think a lot of people nowadays, I mean, we've opened up and we're more tolerable to certain norms now. Um, as far as, like, LGBTQIs, we're more accepting, but there's still a big majority of the people out there, um, I'm mostly saying this in the U.S., um, that are, aren't as tolerable, or they're intolerable of people of different beliefs, um, that are different from their own. Um, this also, uh, going along, um, as of why this video is dedicated to my friend, um, I, from my last video, she got really inspired, and she was really happy, and on my GSA wall, I just wanted to say how it's really nice that you can have, like, a really nice group of people to go to whenever something is wrong, or you have a problem, and just things aren't going right. It's good to always have a really good support group or system, meaning friends, adults, um, people you trust, mostly. It's really good to have them when you need stuff like that, and acceptance as a going along for um, gay rights and everything or LGBTQ concerns um, being accepted is a really big part of the whole coming out process but just LGBTQ wise because you need to know that you, you're accepted for who you are as a person like even though your sexual orientation does not define you as a person it's part of you, and you need to know that that part of yourself is accepted in society, and a lot of people aren't accepting of that, but 
if anything, I think you guys can clearly see clearly see that I am accepting of, of the LGBTQ community because I am in my school's GSA. So if you guys ever need any help, please let me know. I am here for full questions or any advice, um, and I'm here for full support. And I hope you guys know that you really shouldn't be sad or, you know, afraid of coming out. Um, and not being accepted, because there are people out there that really are accepting and loving and caring, and will always be there for you, and I've actually found a bunch of people like that, um, within my school, my best friends are very accepting of me in, mer in various ways, um, and it's nice to know that they are, that they're always there for me, it's a good thing, um, so I hope that if you ever need that, you can find people that are out there, and you'll find them, and they can support you in whatever you go with, um, also, acceptance in another way is finding a group of friends. This goes along with my friend's story of how um, she's also part of GSA, and I've known her for many years now. We do musicals with each other. She's a great friend. She's truly hilarious, and it's so good to see her every single day. She gives me a hug and a kiss. I think it's the cutest thing ever. She's adorable. But last year, she hanged out with a group, different group of people last year. She'd sit with them during lunch. She'd hang out with them. But they weren't exactly as LGBTQ friendly as she was. And she didn't like this. And also, this has to go with all of the shaming and using derogatory words such as gay or faggot, which I honestly, personally, I really dislike it when people say it. And I say in the nicest tone to not use those words in front of me because it personally makes me upset. Both personally, but also for other people that are around. It's not a nice word to say. And saying to other people to not say it is a really big thing, and I guess for her, her friends just took it to the extreme, and she couldn't take it anymore, and she started not sitting with them anymore, and she would sit by herself during lunch and everything, and she really had no one to talk with about it, but then this year, we've been really good friends, and I was like, hey, you're always running around during lunch and not sitting with anyone, how about you sit with me? So, I kind of took her under my wing, well, she's older than me, but I took her into my group of friends that I sit with during lunch, and they are my best friends, but they also know her too. So, now, she sits with us every single day for lunch, when she's not running around doing clubs, and so am I, and I've kind of taken her into, like, my lunch spot sitting, and she told me the other day that she's really happy that she has people that accept her for her certain beliefs and values, but also for the fact that she has people to at least be with during lunch and, like, actually like her for who she is as a person, and I think that's a really great thing, and I feel really happy that I was able to do that, because she is a really good friend, and I feel really bad when people are left out and they're not accepted for certain things about them, because you're a person for basically what kind of makes you are your beliefs and your values, and if people can't accept that, then they can't accept you, and that's just completely wrong. Um, as for me personally, my beliefs tangent off with religious stuff, I mean, I'm a pretty big um, Catholic, but not like excessive Jesus freak, which I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I mean like, I love my Christian music, and I go to church and everything, and occasionally read the Bible, but I mean, there's certain extents, but I think we should at least be a little more tolerable in this society, in this world of age. I mean, we've moved a really long way from way back in the day where it was just, you can't even kiss anyone of the same gender. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is that we should really try to be more accepting of other people that are different from ourselves. Yeah, it's hard at first, but change is always hard, and trying to accept people is always hard, because obviously they're different from you, but acceptance is a really big part, I guess, in our society, and we have to deal with things, we have to tolerate certain things that we're not exactly comfortable with. Um, in lieu of that, and me saying that, I'm kind of rambling at this point, but I guess kind of why my name is called Loving Rants. Um, I guess if you could show some kindness to people who really need it, um, just talking to them, 
If you see someone off that's alone by themselves, ask them to sit with you or just talk with them for a little bit, because honestly, that could really make their day, but even their week, and you wouldn't even know it. And I guess I did that for one of my best friends, and I'm really happy I did, and she told me about it, and I'm so happy, because she really is a great person. And now she feels better that she can sit with people that accept her for her views, but just her as herself and her amazingly funny self. So, all in all, yeah, just accept people, guys. It makes the world go round and a lot more nicer. Um, okay, so I guess that's the end of this video. Um, hopefully I can edit any of this, but I don't really feel like editing because I'm kind of lazy. Um, obviously, I'll be posting my videos on Fridays. Occasionally, I might be posting them on Thursdays, if I get the slight chance. But Fridays are probably my best days, because I do nothing on Fridays, and I have no life. Hashtag, no life forever alone. Um, yeah, sorry. But, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, put anything in the comment section below. I've always wanted to do that. Um... And if you need to inbox me or ask me anything, feel free to. I am here for any advice. And even if you guys have a suggestion for a video for me to make, let me know. Because I need, like, more ideas. I already made, like, a whole list full of them. So I'm actually really excited to be doing this. And I'm mostly doing this for people who really need to hear these words. So, as always, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great week until I see you next time. I'm loving Rand, Samantha, so I'll see you next week.